Hi everyone, my name is Megan and I'm Mountains Region Specialist for Eco Explore. If you are new to Eco Explore, the program is designed for kids just like you. Find out more on our website at ecoexplore.net and check us out on social media for fun educational content as well. In this Nature Nook video, we are going to explore the largest order of mammals, rodents. The rodent badge is one of the field focused badges available during mammalogy season. Let's go explore this amazing group of mammals. Rodents are the largest order of mammals, encompassing 40% of all mammal species. This means it is the most diverse group of mammals with over 2,000 different species. The rodent is found all around the world in a variety of habitats. Some live in the trees while others spend most of their life underground. Some are designed for life in the desert while others are highly aquatic and thrive in the water. To adapt to all of these different environments, rodents have many unique features. The porcupine is covered in quills, which are sharp, barbed spines for self-defense and insulation. The flying squirrel has a thin webbing of skin between its limbs that allow it to glide or fly through the trees. Rodents range in size from the smallest being the pygmy jerboa, weighing in at 4 grams, to the dog-sized capybara weighing anywhere between 70 to 150 pounds. Many rodents eat seeds, nuts, and plant matter, but some have more unusual diets, relying on mushrooms, insects, or other animals as their main food source. Despite all this diversity, rodents share one distinguishing body part, their teeth. All rodents have a single pair of upper and lower incisors. These incisors grow continuously and rodents must constantly gnaw and grind them down. This filing of the teeth naturally sharpens them and makes them great for eating, tunneling, self-defense, and breaking stuff apart. Like all mammals, rodents are vertebrates, warm-blooded, have hair, and give live births. Rodents in particular are relatively small with thick, stocky bodies, short limbs, and a significant tail. Rodents are great at camouflaging into their environment and come in many neutral colors. To find a rodent, it may be best to pick a specific habitat for the one you're looking for since they can be found in a variety of conditions. Hiking along a body of water like a river is a great way to spot beavers, muskrats, or other semi-aquatic rodents while walking through a field might be a good way to observe mice or chipmunks. If you find one in the wild, you may discover more nearby, since they often live together in communities. Many species have complex living quarters, with multiple entries, escape holes, and even sleeping quarters. You may also hear one first before seeing it. Did you hear that? Rodents, especially those who live among others, are known for being vocal animals. Sounds are used for a wide range of signals, like territory, danger, mating, and self-defense. Many rodents hibernate in the wintertime, but you may see one scurrying around during a warm day or looking for extra food. Let's see if I can find one. North Carolina is home to a ton of rodents. A few of these rodents live in the trees. Three species of squirrel call North Carolina their home, the fox, the eastern gray, and the red squirrel. Squirrels are quite common across North Carolina and are known for their big, bushy tails. You may also see the southern or northern flying squirrel. These rodents are harder to find because they are entirely arboreal and nocturnal. Some rodents live near creeks, rivers, lakes, and oceans. The North American beaver is the largest rodent in North America and is the ultimate swimmer with webbed hind feet and a paddle-like tail to steer through the water. They are specifically equipped with nostrils and ears that can seal up in a protective, nicotating membrane over the eye to see while swimming, just like goggles. The muskrat is another medium-sized semi-aquatic rodent. Their long tails are used for propulsion through the water and covered with scales like the beaver yet they are surprisingly not closely related at all. Many rodents live among the ground, burrowing underneath or living among the tall grasses. 
These rodents include chipmunks, mice, voles, and rats. The eastern chipmunk is a small rodent distinguished by those five stripes running down its back. We have several species of mice, like the jumping cotton and deer mouse, and they are characterized by their long tail, which is helpful for balance and temperature regulation. Voles, like the rocky meadow and woodland, are similar to mice, but have a hairier tail. They often get confused for moles or shrews, but they have much better eyesight. They are great climbers and are not bound to the ground. Rats also call North Carolina their home, like the cotton, wood, brown, and black rat. These are one of the larger tunneling rodents, reaching up to 14 inches in length and have an exceptionally long, thick tail. Some rodents can only be found in certain areas in North Carolina, like the groundhog. The groundhog is a thick, large rodent found west of our Eco Explorer Central region, and they prefer elevation, like its relatives, the marmots, that live in the Rocky Mountains of North America. Though rodents can sometimes get a bad rep, they serve several beneficial roles in their ecosystem. For starters, they are vital pollinators and seed dispersers, impacting the landscape and biodiversity of their surroundings. Squirrels are known for losing up to 75% of the nuts they bury, which greatly benefits forest regrowth. Larger rodents, like groundhogs and beavers, are called ecosystem engineers because they can significantly impact their habitat. Through the construction of dams, beavers can change entire bodies of water, influencing the flow and speed of water, the landscapes and plants around it, and the diversity of species that can live there. Lastly, rodents serve as a food source for larger animals on the food chain. This is also why it is important to care about rodents, because what we do to them can negatively impact the entire ecosystem. Wow, what an adventure we went on. Thank you for joining me as we learned about the world of rodents. To earn your rodent badge, submit at least six observations of rodents and complete the three challenges. Eco explorers have an entire year to work on a field focused badge, but it must be started during the correlating field season. So don't forget to start this badge before the mammalogy season scampers away. I'm gonna go finish my hike, but remember, good luck, have fun, and keep exploring. Bye y'all.